Hi, welcome to Video Benchmarks. Do you remember when we looked at the video rendering speed of an iMac 2014 that was running Final Cut and Premiere on OS X? I have a feeling that you don't, so just click up here to watch that video because this one could be considered part two to it. The reason for this being kind of part two is because this 2015 iMac 21 inch has the same specs like the one before. But let's look at the specs real quick. It's running OS X Yosemite on Intel Core i5 quad-core processor, 8GB of RAM, 1TB hard drive and Intel Iris Pro graphics with up to 1.5 gigs of shared memory. So you must be asking, why the heck are we reviewing this one? Well, last time we were not able to test for a video under speed of Premiere running on Windows. After we have seen Premiere Pro on Windows perform really well on other machines, especially older ones, this review simply had to happen. To make sure the hardware performs really the same, we ran video benchmarks on Final Cut and Premiere running on OS X again. And what we found out was no surprise. We saw that OS X based Final Cut and Premiere have very similar results to the iMac 2014. Final Cut finished rendering the 1080p sample in 43 seconds. Premiere on OS X finished rendering in 5 minutes. As you can see this is a really big difference but we'll get into why a little bit later. Now Premiere Pro running on Windows 7 in bootcamp finished in 3 minutes 17 seconds. At this point I was like ooh this is actually turning out to be a fact. Premiere on Windows exports videos faster than Premiere on OS X. Now to 4K results. They show the same trend like 1080p. Final Cut was done in a minute 28 seconds. Premiere Pro on OS X was done in 13 minutes 12 seconds. Premiere Pro on Windows was done in 8 minutes and 47 seconds. If you saw our previous video benchmarks you're getting the idea here. But still there is something that bugged me about this. Why is Final Cut so much faster? The answer is really easy. This iMac has Intel integrated graphics which Final Cut takes full advantage of. For some reason Premiere does not use it for a video render and relies completely on the CPU only. I looked into this and I found out it really should not. According to the list of supported GPUs on Adobe's website it should use the OpenCL of this graphics. I put a link to the list of supported graphics cards in the description below. We would love to get our hands on an OS X computer that has dedicated graphics card that's supported by both Final Cut and Premiere. This would really show what performs better on newer computers. We already know that with older computers you're better off with Premiere on Windows. If you want to learn more just check out the previous videos here. Alrighty that's all for today. May the video editing patience be with you.